And good evening, everybody, and welcome here to our fun race weekend cap off as we're set for race number five of the NR2003 Diva Cup Series here at the Darlington Raceway. 56 laps on tap today. I know I said in the Diva Bush Series we were going to do 74 laps, but I said, eh, let's just keep it at 56 laps as we're getting set for what should have which should be a great cap off to this race weekend as we're getting set for 56 laps of racing. Mary Morris is on the pole for this evening's event. Mary Morris comes into this race 25th in the points, has not been a very good start to the season. Alongside of her is the 67 of Amber Whitecastle. Amber Whitecastle comes into this race. 12th in the points after losing six spots last week at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Matilda Cobbs in row number two. Matilda Cobb comes in this race 34th in the point standings, and Ellen Benson is alongside of her. Ellen Benson comes into to this evening's event. Second in the point standings. Here's the rest of the grid. All the way down to 42nd. Let's go over the point standings presented by Golden Crows. The engines have fired up and we're getting set for tonight's race. Sydney Vortex is the points leader by 39 points over Ellen Benson. I just mentioned right there in the 97. Becky Walters is third in the standings. She is 52 points back. 57 back is Brittany White, who's fourth in the standings. Jesse Art is fifth. Elena Rora is sixth, 70 points back. Uh, 76 back is Monica Towns, who is 7th. 78 back is Courtney Lynn, who is running an 8th in the standings. Jill Thomas, who lost the points lead last week at Atlanta, fell all the way down to ninth in the standings. And welcome to the top 10, Ginger Foutley, who is 10th in the standings. Our Diva Truck Series race only had one caution, which the rest of the race went green. However, we had a late race dash to the finish in last night's diva um bush series race and both of those were cloudy conditions these are clear conditions we're having even though we are under the lights will that play a major factor in tonight's race we're just gonna have to find that out the same time as we do 56 laps of racing here today are we in for a breakfast or are we in for a very interesting race? We're going to find that out as we're getting set for the Goodyear 400. We are green here tonight from Darlington for the Diva Cup Series. And everybody has taken the green flag, so that's good for me. Mary Morris will lead us to the... Back straight away. Of course, we did not have pit stops in this race weekend so far for Diva Trucks or Diva Bush. Could we have pit stops here tonight for the Diva Cup Series? We're just going to have to find that out. Jesse Art in the wall as Mary Morris will lead the first lap. But Jesse Art, look at how many spots she's dropped after pancaking the right side of her 1 800 call ATT Dodge for BAM Racing. Because there's Elena Aurora. She's all the way by herself. It's a 20-car pack from the field. So all these cars getting a Darlington stripe. Amber Whitecastle just got a Darlington stripe. Lead change. Matilda Cobb going to go to the race lead past the Valvoline Pontiac for MBV Racing of Mary Morris. Move the Budweiser Chevrolet to the lead. I'm, by the way, watching Undercover Boss as of this recording. Oh, and there goes Mat there goes the ten of Mary Morris in the wall. And is this going to bring out a caution? Checking the pace car, it does bring out the caution. Maddie Crenshaw has fallen back to forty seconds. Something's up with that twenty one car. And unlike our Diva Trucks and Diva Bush series, we have our first caution in the early stages of this race as Hannah Blue Jays near the wall in that Lowe's 48. 
And Matilda Cobb will lead us under the caution for the first time this evening. As I still don't know what happened to uh, Maddie Crenshaw, why she's in last place right now. But the caution's out for the first time here tonight. So we did not go three for three in long green flag runs before our first caution of the race came out. Let's jump back, look at a replay to find out what happened to Mary Morris off of turn four here in the early stages of the Goodyear 400. Apparently, we found out what happened to Maddie Crenshaw. Uh, Diva Cup officials ended up black flagging her uh, for jumping the star is why she is one lap down as a result. So that's why she uh, was, uh, was in 42nd. As you look at the contact, the 10 got in the wall and nowhere for the 9 car to go. As uh, Becky Walter spins the Valvoline Pontiac into the inside wall. We saw this two nights ago in the truck series where we had the same incident that happened off of turn four. But Diva Cup Series officials, like the Diva Truck officials two nights ago, had no choice but to throw the caution. Which is a wise move, even though that car slid to the inside wall. Which is some pretty significant damage to our pole sitter of this evening's race and Mary uh, Morris came into this race 25th in the points. So this is not going to be a good points night for her unless more drivers have troubles later on in the road. So that's what brought out our first caution of the race. Let's see. Let's go back to the restart here at Darlington. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing on lap number eight of 56. As we're still in the early going of the race, I had to, Mute my TV. I just got done watching my favorite um, undercover boss show as of this recording. So, which was Choice Hotels, which I didn't know they did an episode of that. To be quite honest with you, so like, okay, there's like nothing else on TV. Right now, nobody out of the race. Uh, while we were looking back at a replay, Molly Thomas apparently had a problem. Came down pit road. The problem, however, is not terminal. So she will restart the rear of the field as a result. As we're about to go back to green, this is something we haven't seen all race weekend. Lap traffic to the inside on a restart. Hmm, we haven't seen that all weekend. Of course, all the uh, drivers finished on the lead lap in both trucks and bush. And on their restarts, they never had lap traffic. Well, apparently that's not going to be three for three this week. Green flag back in the air. Of course, Maddie Crunshaw not for position. She is one lap down, hoping for a quick caution. To get herself caught back up and back on the lead lap. As the eight car just got up into the wall, her teammate's going to take the lead. That would be Prudence Martindale. Right behind her is the 90 of Alicia Marquez as I'm bringing up the points back. Prudence Martindale comes, comes in this race 11th in the point standings. Alicia Marquez is 27th in the standing.
A lot of drivers hitting that outside wall, so we're going to check the back of the field. It's like Molly Thomas has got some sort of problem. I think we're being told she might be down the cylinder. Alicia Marquez going to take the lead. Maddie Crenshaw still unsuccessful trying to get herself back on the lead lap. Getting a report the 18 is down the cylinder, and that's not good. Not good as Alicia Marquez is up into the wall. Becky Walters did the same in the back. Crystal Fontaine going to go for the race lead. Martin Neal got up into the wall as well. Crystal Fontaine comes into this race. By the way, Maddie Crenshaw, 37th in the point standings. This is not what Maddie Crenshaw needed. Ellen Benson got up into the wall there. See Crystal Fontaine back to her. She's 41st in the standing, so she is a driver well below, so far down the points table. Brenda Evelyn currently in second place at the DuPont Chevrolet. Brenda Evelyn comes in this race 40th in the point standing. She's also another driver well down the points table. Look at the teams I'm mentioning that's down the points table. Hendrick Motorsports and Roush Fenway Racing, or Roush Racing, sorry. That's a couple of teams, like I said, way down the points table. They're about to catch Molly Thomas fair, fairly soon, which the good news for Maddie Crenshaw, that's a position she's about to gain. If we continue this long green flag run, because I know the uh, 18 is off the pace due to engine problems. The 10 we know is off the pace due to the damage from the first caution. Yeah, because the uh, 18 is off by, is down 13 miles an hour. Maddie Crenshaw would love to see a caution right about now. To get herself back into the hunt and have a salvageable run as they have now caught up to Molly Thomas. That's going to allow the zero of Jillian Black. Uh, actually, correction, Maria Steiner right up here because the top three have pulling away. 
And Matty Crenshaw has now gained a position as a result. So move Matty Crenshaw up to 41st. Molly Thomas down to 42nd. Molly Thomas is now one lap down with the engine issue. So Maddie Crenshaw is starting to move her way up through the field, which is more points for her. Let's see where the gal that came in this race as our points leader. The, the uh, up oh, caution. Is that a caution? It's not a caution. Oh, that's Lindsay Sutton. Something happened to the Kikoman. Ford Taurus out of Carter Racing. And that did not bring out the caution, believe it or not, as Matty Crenshaw got a bit tight. This will definitely put her back one lap down. She is up to speed. Not entirely sure what happened to uh, Lindsay Sutton. That's 30th in the standings, by the way, for Lindsay Sutton. This is not what Lindsay Sutton needs. Right now, Maddie Crenshaw just staying with the leaders, hoping to catch that caution so she can get back on the lead lap. And there's the caution for the second time here tonight as we're nearing the halfway point of the race. Maddie Crenshaw has got to beat the 90 back to the line, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Looks like another incident on the front straightaway. Maddie Crenshaw will not get her lap back. Mary Morris and Lindsay Sutton, big break for them. And it looks like Hannah Blujay is the reason for this caution. Also, big break for Monica Towns. Contact between Mary Morris and Hannah Blujay. That's more damage to the 48 car and to the 10. So that's a tough break for those drivers. Caution's out for the second time today. First, we're going to find out what happened to Lindsay Sutton that didn't bring out the caution. Then we'll find out what brought out the caution with Hannah Blue Jay as we're at the halfway point of tonight's Goodyear 400 here at Darlington. This is the one that didn't bring out the caution. And it looks like Monica Towns. Uh, looks like Lindsay got a little bit loose, had to get out of the throttle when Monica Towns just ran over. The Kikoman uh, soy sauce for Taurus and into the inside wall. And because this was towards the rear of the field, Diva Cup officials elected not to throw the caution, even though the car was coming back up to the racing surface. So not entirely sure why that was not a caution. But that's a tough break for Lindsay Sutton. The good news for her, she got saved. From being put a lap down, we're going to find out what caused our second caution today with the 48 of Hannah Blue Jay in just a sec. Well, deja vu from the first incident as Hannah Blue Jay was up in the wall, just like what happened to Mary Morris earlier in the race. And the 77 is going to greet her. That would be Mackenzie Thompson just spun the low Chevrolet hard in the inside wall. Did a pretty good, pretty, pretty good lick for that low Chevrolet. And this time, the Diva Cup officials had no choice to throw the caution because it was getting closer to the racing surface. And then Mary Morris ran into the back of the 48 after the leaders took the caution. So, not sure what was going on between Hannah Blue Jay and Mary Morris, but apparently we got some tempers flaring between those two ladies, which we're not entirely sure what that was all about. Hannah Blue Jay came into this race as I look through the points table. 31st in the points. So talk about a couple of drivers who are right near the cellar of the points table. This is not what neither of them need. So our second caution is out. We're past the halfway point of today's race or tonight's race here at Darlington. Let's go back to the restart here in the Lady in Black. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing on lap number 32 of 56. That would give us a total of 25 laps of racing to go. Two cars on the inside line, Maddie Crenshaw and Molly Thomas. Molly Thomas is not going to be up to speed, even though she has not got any damage 
to the uh, to that Interstate Battery Chevrolet. Top 10 as we go back to green. Brenda Evelyn's the leader. Alicia Marquez is second. Crystal Fontaine third. Ellen Benson fourth. Maria Steiner fifth. Pete Ramirez sixth. Seventh is Matilda Cobb. Melissa Cooper eighth. Annie Winters ninth. And tenth is her teammate, Ashley Reynolds. Nobody out of the race from those two incidents. The 66 and the 48 have repaired their cars and have returned to the racetrack. Of course, Maddie Crenshaw, who has been a lap down since getting the, uh, what we're being told was a stop-and-go penalty by uh, Diva Cup officials. Which is a tough break for her. But she's already gained only one spot. And what Matty Crenshaw's got to hope and pray is more drivers that are on the lead lap, 40 of them to be exact, continue to have problems throughout the rest of this race. Green flag back in the air. Brenda Eveling leads us back to the green. And you can tell the 18 car is absolutely not up to speed, unlike the 21 who is up to speed. It is going to hurt Matty Crenshaw in the points table. Even though this is not what Matty Crenshaw needed. And she'll hope to turn it around when we go to Bristol Motor Speedway next week. As all three series will head to the world's fastest half mile. Or in real life we like to call it the last great coliseum. Comes Maddie Crenshaw trying to get her lap back. And around they go in the back. Big wreck off of turn number four. And our third caution is no doubtably out. Now Maddie Crenshaw has to race Crystal Fontaine back to the line as the yellow is out for the third time this evening. Can Maddie Crenshaw hold off the 17 and the 97? Looks like the two forwards are going to let her go. Oh, they got to be careful not to cause any issues. Okay, slow down, guys. Slow down. Caution's out. Crystal Fontaine had to jam on the brakes because some cars were leaving to see the accident. Matty Crenshaw is going to be going by. Looks like Lindsay Sun. Looks like Mary Morris is involved. Lisa Simpson's involved. Lauren Grubius. That's one of the uh, Dodges. That's Monica Towns. Sydney Vortex, the points leader's involved. Uh-oh. And I have a good hunch the 18 had something to do with this. So, big break for Crystal, er, Crystal Fontaine leading. Big break for Maddie Crenshaw. Not a big break for Sydney Vortex as she was involved in this incident. So our third caution's out. Let's jump back and look at a replay to see what in the world happened on the front straightaway as we're getting closer and closer to the end of tonight's race. Well, this is something we haven't seen all race weekend. They try to go three wide, and three wide at Darlington is a recipe for disaster. Contact between Jillian Black and Matilda Cobb presented that. I thought it was had something to do with the 18. Apparently, it had nothing to do with the 18. Drivers were just trying to go three wide. Oh, Scarlett Wallace was involved. There's Matilda Cobb. Launched the net zero Pontiac up in the air. Lisa Simpson's going to have it nowhere to go right there. And nowhere for Sydney Vortex to go. And looks like the zero is going to flip. And then Elena Aurora is going to clip Matilda Cobb in the eight. Looks like Matilda Cobb is going to hit that inside wall. We'll look at that in just a second. Lauren Ekstrom got a piece of this. Brooklyn Carter got through it. Lauren Grubius got a piece of it. Kayla Brown was involved. Courtney Lynn's going to clip the Virginia Tech Chevrolet. So a little bit of damage to Courtney Lynn. Another driver running well in points. 
Let's go to that eight car. Because the eight car also got a lot of damage to the inside wall. See, after she gets hit by the zero, looks like the 31... Oh, the 22 actually sideswiped the eight... Slides out the 31 into the 8. That was uh, Ginger Fountley, by the way. And a lot of damage to the left side of the Budweiser Chevrolet out of Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. At least the Simpsons, no doubt, done for the night. And there you see the rest of the pilot. I don't know if Crenshaw got a piece of it or not. Oh, yes, she does. Look at the back end of her Miller Lite Dodge. So both the Penske cars were involved in this incident. Jesse Art was involved. I didn't realize. How did Jesse Art get a piece of this wreck? Oh, she got hit by um, Courtney Lynn. Oh, she actually hit the 7, then got booted by Courtney Lynn. So a lot of damage to the at and the 1-800-call at and Dodge from BAM Racing. So the big one strikes here at Darlington Raceway as our third caution of the race is out. Let's jump to the restart here at the track that we call Too Tough to Tame. Getting ready to go back to Green Flag Racing here on lap 39 of 56. would give us a total of 18 laps of racing to go. Crystal Fontaine, still your race leader. Ellen Benson is second. Maria Steiner currently in third. Fourth is Peach Ramirez. Haven't talked much about Peach Ramirez all night. Same with Melissa Cooper is fifth. Alicia Marquez is sixth. Annie Winter seventh. Her teammate Ashley Reynolds eighth. Ninth, Becky Walters in car number nine, fine, interestingly enough. And Amber Whitecastle will complete the top ten. First two cautions, we got away with nobody out of the race. This one, not so fortunate. As drivers out of the race after that, seven to be exact. They were Hannah Blue Jay, Mary Morris. So that's three strikes and you're out, in the words of Mary Morris. Lisa Simpson, Jillian Black, Scarlett Wallace, Sydney Vortex, the points leader, will finish in 41st. And Lauren Grubius gets the honorable mention of finishing last. Or in the words of Cody Smart, the reverse race. Hannah Blue Jay came into this race 31st in the points, so that was not what she needed. Lisa Simpson, Scarlett Wallace was 26th in the points. Mary Morris, 25th. Lisa Simpson, however. Sydney Vortex, we know, was the points leader, by the way. Lisa Simpson, 24th in the point standings, is out. Lauren Grubius, where was she in points? 38. Boy, she did not need this as we're back to green here at Darlington. Jillian Black came into this race 32nd in the points. That's not what she needs. Making sure I've gone through everybody as far as the points table is concerned. As Crystal Fontaine just got up in the wall, Ellen Benson's going to take the race lead. I believe I just named the I just got all of them. Up oh, cautions out for the fourth time tonight. Well, we haven't had this habit as far as the cautions are concerned from Trucks and Diva Bush, and apparently we didn't learn that lesson in Diva Cup tonight. Sheesh. Another wreck on the front straightaway. So our fourth caution of the evening. And Carla Sanat, 33rd in the point standings, is the reason for the caution. A lot of damage to the tied Pontiac. And I believe she's the only one involved. As I see Brenda Ealing back here at the rear of the field. She was at the front of the field for some of this race, so... Caution's out for the fourth time tonight. Let's jump back and see what happened to Carlos tonight as Ellen Benson continues to lead here in the Goodyear 400. Well, apparently they did not learn their lesson from going three wide off of turn number four. The eight car got up into the wall again. That was Matilda Cobb, but she bounced off Carlos tonight and into the other beer car. Hey, Titan, Titan and uh, beer cars don't mix, folks. 
in all seriousness. Andy Crenshaw had nowhere to go and just spun. Carlos and I into the inside wall. Like I said, you run into one beer car, the other beer car spins you out. So, unfortunately for Carlos and I, who's had a tough start to the year, unfortunately, a lot of damage to the front end of the Tide Pontiac. Hopefully, they can get that car repaired and get her back out to try to get some points out of tonight's race. So, that's what brought out our fourth caution of the night. Let's get to the restart here at Darlington. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing here on lap number 45 of 56 as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the race. Nobody out of the race. Carlos Sinat ended up losing a lap doing so to try to get some repairs on that 32 machine. It's still a Rush Racing 1-2, except the roles are reversed. Last restart, Crystal Fontaine was leading. Ellen Benson was second. This restart, it's the other way around. Ellen Benson, the leader, Crystal Fontaine in second. Maria Steiner's third, Pete Ramirez, uh, Melissa Cooper, Lisa Marquez, Annie Winters is now seventh. Becky Walters is now eighth. Ninth is Ashley Reynolds and Chloe Carmichael. We haven't talked much about Chloe Carmichael all night or most of the season. She's in the top ten. So the top seven has not changed a lot. The only big change is uh, the 0, 1, and the 9 switching places as far as the top 10 is concerned. Chloe Carmichael comes this race 28th in the point standings. Definitely a great run for her, if you ask me. And, when I, and by the way, I should point this out. Ellen Benson, if she wins the race, she will take the points lead. Because remember, she was the gal that came as race second in points trying to run down Sydney Vortex for the points lead. And with Sydney Vortex finishing out of the race in 41st, Ellen Benson would not only try to get her first, or correction, her second win of the year, she could also take the points lead heading into next week's race at Bristol Motor Speedway, which aerodynamics won't be a factor, unlike this race, as we're back to green. You know, a lot of people have asked me, why are we having a lot of cautions in the Diva Cup Series versus the Diva Trucks and Diva Bush Series? Well, the answer to that is all of these drivers, these are these are the fastest cars in the world. You know, Diva Cup has a lot more horsepower than Trucks and Bush. And the reason we're seeing a lot of yellows is drivers getting way too aggressive. And that's why we're seeing a lot of cautions tonight. And when I also look through the points table from that big wreck from our third caution, I noticed a lot of drivers that were inside the top 10 in points that got involved, like Monica Towns, Jesse Art, Sid, uh, Courtney Lynn, sorry. All of them were running well in points. They're absolutely going to take a hit in the standings. Maria Steiner is, by the way, 15th in the standings. So like I said, a lot of drivers who were running well in points did not need a bad race like this as Ellen Benson's now running into the wall. And here comes her teammate who goes around. Ah, oh, no, the 17 and the 97 made contact. Did everybody avoid Crystal Fontaine? Yes is the answer. But look at how many positions she has lost as a result. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, the 19 just arca breaked into the rack. And Lindsay Sutton, pay attention. You just hit Lauren Ekstrom and Jesse Art under caution there, sweetheart. Somebody's going to go throw Lindsay Sutton off a cliff for that, as that is our fifth caution of the evening. Let's go back and see what happened to the 17. You basically already saw it, but we'll show it to you again just for the heck of it. Last thing you don't want to do is wreck your teammate or get into your teammate, and that's exactly what happened here, of course. Ellen Benson was up into the wall. Crystal Fontaine was going to take the lead. Unfortunately, the two made contact, and around went the DeWalt Ford Taurus. Crystal Fontaine did a good job, and we were going to get away with only a one-car incident. 
And Crystal Fontaine was second at the time. She probably ended up somewhere losing about a good 15 to 20 positions doing so. And she's going to get the car in the right direction. All these drivers are going to pass her. And of course, as she crosses the line right there, pay attention to the 19 who's like uh, probably reading magazine or something. Apparently doesn't realize the 17 just got up, just got involved in a spin trying to leave the scene of the accident. And the 19, well, I don't know what on bloody earth you were thinking there, Monica. Clips the 8 again of uh, Matilda Cobb. And then Monica Towns also got the 32. And then Lindsay Sutton, I don't know what on bloody earth you were thinking, decided to say, oh, I just need to hit Lauren Ekstrom and Jesse Art for no reason. Well, I can tell you that's going to earn the 19 and the 66 a trip to the big pink truck after the race. The big pink cup truck, as we like to say. So, caution's out for the fifth time today. Let's get to the restart. Hopefully, we finish this race under the green flag conditions. Green flag going to go back in the air on lap number 52. So, we're going to have five laps to settle this race. Next caution that comes out, which would be our six. Let's hope we don't have... Six cautions in this race. We'll end this race under yellow. Hopefully this will not turn into a Bristol shenanigan next week when we go to Bristol Motor Speedway. So Ellen Benson really going to be feeling guilty on that one. She's still the race leader. Maria Seiner second. Peter Ramirez third. Melissa Giver fourth. Annie Winters fifth. Becky Walters sixth. Lisa Marquez seventh. Chloe Carmichael eighth. Ashley Reynolds ninth. And Amber Whitecastle complete the top ten. Let's see what Ellen Benson's going to do on this restart. Hopefully she didn't do a lot of damage to the back end of that Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. Rain flag back in the air. Five laps to settle this. I can tell you, this video is going to be a lot longer than our Trucks in Diva Bush series. That's for damn sure. And looks like the 30 got up into the wall. Peach Ramirez is going to come up in second. And we got an incident in the back. Looks like the 45 might have gotten turned into the... Uh, wall but hangs on to it Mia Watts did a good job saving that car that could have ended the race under the yellow flag as here comes the 27 Annie Winters was up into the wall that's going to allow Becky Walters to go by race lead Peach Ramirez Going to take the race lead as Ellen Benson made a critical mistake. As I said, next caution comes out. We'll definitely end this race under the yellow flag. By the way, nobody out of the race. The officials have called both the 19 and the and the uh, the 19 and I forgot who the other driver was. It was the 19 who caused that incident. Oh, Lindsay Sun and Monica Towns were called to the uh, big pink truck. The uh, the big pink truck, a.k.a. the cup hauler, when this race is over. 
Peach Ramirez sees the white flag, and they're rooking. But she took the white flag means this race is not over just yet. It looks like Ellen Benson slowed down, but the thing is, Peach Ramirez already took the white flag, so she's racing back to the checkers. As Ashley Reynolds was involved in this rack. And Peach Ramirez is going to get her first career Diva Cup Series win at Darlington. Oh, somebody's up in smoke. That's Lindsay Sutton. Zero two, a Kayla Brown's involved. Molly Thomas got collected in whatever this incident. Ashley Reynolds had a great run going. Before we before we show you your full finish results, let's take a look at see. Whoa, eighty eight go flipping. Here's what brought out the final caution. Chloe Carmichael and Ashley Reynolds got together, and Peach Ramirez did get to the white flag before this before they threw the yellow. Ginger Fatley gets a piece of it. The 16 got a piece of it. That was uh, Chrissy House, who had a great run going. Brittany White was involved. It's like the 77 Mackenzie Thompson got a piece of it. Brenda Evelyn got spun around. Looks like the 99 got her. Jill Thomas got spun around by the five of uh, Gwen Tennyson. That was Bouvier who got spun. And then the 18 just Arca breaked into Annie Crenshaw and Lindsay Sutton, who was already um, in trouble with the officials, well, decides to pile in this wreck for really no blatant reason. Hate that for Kayla Brown, who had a good run going. But Peach Ramirez will be celebrating in victory lane nevertheless. As the standings are indeed official. Oh, that's uh, not the right one I wanted, Voiles. There we go. There's going to be some drivers called to the uh, big pink truck. I know Lindsay Sutton just didn't slow down, and she just piled into that wreck. That, that was kind of really silly, in my opinion. So she's got a lot of explaining to do. And all those drivers who also piled in without even using the brakes are also going to be called to the big pink truck after this. But Peach Ramirez, not going to be in trouble with the officials. She goes to victory lane. Peach Ramirez, let me actually see where did she come into this race in the points. Peach Ramirez came in this race 29th in points. Good run for her. Ellen Benson's going to get second. Good run for Ellen Benson, who is second in points. She'll take the points lead leaving tonight. Alicia Marquez third, Becky Walters fourth, Amber Whitecastle fifth, then it was Chloe Carmichael, Annie Winters, Ginger Fountain, Maria Steiner, and Brittany White completed the top ten. Look on down through the remainder of the finishing results. A lot of drivers going to be a really not going to be happy with Lindsay Sutton and, Mat and uh, Monica Towns, excuse me. Drivers who did not see the checker flag were Ashley Reynolds, Chrissy House, tough break for her, Kayla Brown, Lindsay Sutton. Molly Thomas, Carla Sanant, and then they join Hannah Blue Jay, Mary Morris, Lisa Simpson, Jillian Black, Scarlett Wall, Sydney Vortex, and Lauren Grubius behind the wall. But that is going to do it from Darlington, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's race, or should I say this wreck fest of a race. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray crew today. We show your full finished results. We'll show your point standings in our free race show next week. At Bristol Motor Speedway. Until then, I've been Dita sending off. Good night from Darlington as you've been watching another broadcast courtesy of PCS Ray TV, the best in racing since 2017.